Collectively, Michael and I bring more than 30 years of litigation experience to bear for our clients. We keep a smaller caseload and we're able to put a lot of, of time and energy into an individual case and provide real client-centered representation. My name is Mark Begno and I'm a partner at Eshman Begno. I'm Michael Eshman, a founding partner at Eshman Begno. We started our firm in 2020. At the time I had my own firm representing uh, folks who'd been injured or lost loved ones through the negligence of others. Uh, and had the opportunity to join with Mark to add a civil rights uh, practice to our firm also, uh, handling police misconduct cases primarily. We wanted to work together because um, I think we respect each other professionally. You know, I, I respect Michael a great deal. I think he's a great lawyer and you want to work with the best. Um, that's how you provide the best services you can to your clients. We've got a great team at our firm. Uh, everyone has their own particular skills. Mark has his criminal uh, defense background. Yeah, he's handled criminal appeals and civil appeals. I have experience on the defense side representing um, defendants in civil litigation. And I also have experience on the plaintiff side. Um, I also have the experience as a mediator, helping uh, defendants and plaintiffs get their cases resolved through agreement. That mixture of skills, I think, is really what sets us apart from every stage of civil litigation, right? We have that experience and work together to strategize the best outcome for our clients. We both pride ourselves on really listening to our clients and what, what matters to them, what is important to them, and developing a strategy that fits their particular case uh, versus trying to shoehorn a strategy that, that we're trying to force on them, but allowing our clients to have control over their case with our advice on what that means, what the legal realities of, of the case are. Some client could, could have a particular need where they have some you know, financial strains and they want to try to resolve a case quickly and so speed is that client's goal. You know, we could have another client where, um, where speed isn't the goal and that client wants to litigate for as long as possible to get the, the best result possible. We're not fitting a client into a box that we've created, but we're working with a client to try to provide that client what he or she needs. I also speak Spanish, so I have a lot of Spanish-speaking clients. Having an attorney who speaks Spanish and who can listen directly to our clients and what's important to them I think sets our firm apart and is incredibly meaningful, I know, for our clients and for the relationships that I'm able to build and establish with those clients. We're a small firm. We are not a big box firm. We don't have hundreds of lawyers and our lawyers don't handle hundreds of cases. We are a boutique firm. We keep our caseloads relatively low so that we can provide excellent representation to every client. That's an approach that you can't take if you have a caseload of 150 cases and where you have a paralegal doing most of your work. It just doesn't work like that. You know, we keep a smaller caseload so that we can focus on those cases specifically and we can get the best results for those clients. We are committed to providing the highest level of legal excellence that we can and getting great results for our clients, but we will never grow beyond what we know we can do to serve those clients. We are lucky in our practice that we actually get to implement some change. I think to a, a case I brought out of a, a jail in South Georgia a couple years ago where a client's family member died in custody because she didn't get proper medical care. That particular jail just had an abysmal, I was gonna say way to provide medical care. They really didn't provide meaningful medical care at that jail. And our client's family member died as a result. We followed the lawsuit. We got uh, an excellent result for the client's family. You know, it, it didn't bring their family member back, but it was, a, it was a good result for them. But more to the point, that jail changed its policies. That jail now has full-time medical staff that is on site, and that was something that didn't exist before. And so, you know, hearing stories like that, knowing that it's possible that we prevented another death at that, um, at that jail, um, that makes it worth it coming to work every day. The first opportunity I had to represent a family of someone who had suffered loss completely changed what I wanted to do with my career. Uh, it was both personally and professionally fulfilling to be able to use the skills that I had learned and the ability I had to take a case forward and to use that for somebody in an awful situation, but to provide them the resources and the care that they need. I think about one client I represented recently who was um, just badly injured in a, uh, a recreational vehicle accident. And uh, that client came to us after talking to a lot of other lawyers and the other lawyers that she talked to uh, were not able to find um, insurance. Basically that she was injured but they couldn't find an insurance uh, company that was going to be on the hook. 
And, and we took the case and we, we investigated and we were able to find a homeowner's policy that was able to provide $300,000 in coverage. Um, you know, we had to file multiple lawsuits in that case to actually be able to get to the, the end of the road with it. But we ultimately got um, this client a, a policy limits $300,000 settlement. And that was a life-changing amount of money for her. So it was just a, um, a, a really great result for that client and really great feeling being able to help somebody really start their life. I often tell my clients that this is a stressful process and that if they need to yell, I want them to yell at me, that I don't mind listening to it. I don't mind hearing it because I want them to be able to get that out somewhere um, that is productive and then focus on the litigation and what we need to do. If somebody's in need of a lawyer, just give us a call. Uh, we'll do a free consultation over the phone. Um, just call us anytime and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. We'll sit down, we'll talk with you. We'll find out if we can help you. Si alguien necesita ayuda legal, nos pueden llamar. Si es una área en que no practiquemos, pues nosotros podemos ponerles en contacto con un abogado que sí puede ayudar. Si es una área en donde sí podemos ayudar, es algo que nosotros le, pues les escuchamos a ver si podemos hacer algo para ayudarle. Pero el primer paso es llamar a ver uh, qué oportunidad o qué posibilidad hay. Thank you.